Hey, hey, it's Lamar Scholl coming at you from DirectionToSuccess.com. How you doing today? I hope your day's awesome. Guess what? You and I, we're going to have fun today talking about the product section element that comes with the Jack Oliver template. So you do need eStage installed on your WordPress website and also you have to be using the Jack Oliver template. Okay, this video, it's going to get, it's not hard what we're going to do, but I think it's going to go a little long because I am very excited about this little element because it saves you so much time. You can get all your products on your page really, literally in less than 10 minutes. I guess if you have all the images and stuff, but it's, it's simple and it's fun. Okay, go grab that snack, come right back. But before you go, pause this video because you don't want to miss this. Okay, let's talk about the product section element. I've got to do a little explaining before we start because unlike most elements we've been talking about, this one has two parts to it. You're going to have the element part that you're going to put on the products page. That's pretty standard, right? But the, the extra part is there's a product section under the e-stage theme. This is where all your product pages are stored. So for each product that you want to display, you have to write a page for it. And um, trust me, that's quick. And I mean, that's lightning fast. There's not anything to it. You got this, okay? It sounds like it's confusing, but we're gonna take this nice and slow. Just pause the video, take a few bites of that snack, have a little of that drink and then let's go we're going to go right over to my computer screen now so now as usual we're sitting here sorry about that <laughs> it won't stop great ignore 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 i don't care it's not working phone's busted but sorry about that anyways we're here in wordpress dashboard and as usual we're gonna start out oh sorry when i had the phone disturb me or broke my train of thought so before we start into wordpress here's a typical products page right here so this is the title that i mentioned before that we're gonna have and then each product so it consists of this basically this rectangle right here we have a the image at the top and a title for that product and a short description of that product and this button here when you click on it will take you over to your sales page so you just put the link and the button text in that products page so there's only you know five or six items we have to add so like I said you do one of those product pages for each of your products so I think I'm gonna leave this page up for now because when we're in the WordPress dashboard, we may have to refer back to this page. Because maybe not. We'll see. So as usual, so I'm just going into here and we're going to, I just like to filter everything down to all the Jack Oliver elements, right? And look for the product section element right here. So you can see there's not much to add here. This is going to be the title that will appear above all your products. Um, if you want to add a background image, this will go behind, you know, this will be on the page behind all your products. I don't add an image. It just makes it look too cluttered, too confusing, at least for me. But if you would like, it's totally up to you. You can add an image. Um, and then down here, number of products to show. Okay, so we're going to add in a number there. So let's just fill some of this in. I'm going to just put in my products. Like I said, I'm going to skip the image and we'll just display six products. I'm going to show you how simple this is. Save changes. And we're going to come over here to the right and click on preview changes. And here you go. We're done. Oh, sorry, I didn't notice my cap locks on, but I just wanted to show you that it does work. So here's my products. So here's 
all six products. That's how fast we were able to display products. All right, so that's not too bad. Let me close this tab. We're going to close this tab. Brings us back to WordPress. Before we go any further here, sorry, I wasn't really... Products here. We'll just fix that and save that change. And sometimes, you know what? I go over here and hit preview changes. Because some, sometimes I just like doing a little change, seeing that change, going back, doing a little change. For me, that helps. Then I know it's fixed. And then I might click on update. So now I know I'm saved up to that point. All right. So I kind of digressed a little bit. So that's the first section right there. Just simply adding the element. You saw we just added the title and then a number for how many products we want to show. So where all the work and the magic happens is down here on the left under the e-stage product section. And all the uh, menus that are in red here are part of the e-stage theme. So if we click on, I guess what I can do right now, we'll go into all products. So you can see, here's my six products I currently have, right? And we'll just, I'll go into the e-stage product. And this is the title that appears above the product. This is that the short description for the product. And when we do a new one from scratch, well, I'm gonna go a lot slower. I'm trying not to put you guys to sleep. And this is uh, just the image that's gonna appear for that product. And you gotta come all the way down near the bottom of the page. And for the button, we're gonna just add in your link. So that'd be the link over to your sales funnel or wherever, and then just the button text that you want to appear. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, we'll just start all the way at the top. Add new product. So I'm just going to type in here, my product. It's not really mine, but that'll do. Um, look, and then I'm just looking over here to write, I already have some text saved off. So I can type it in. I can't nearly type that fast. I don't know about you guys. So then we're going to find an image. And I'm just going to click. So the new product it's going to have is going to have the yellow E stage on it as opposed to the white. So we can see that it was added. Okay. And then so just to kind of recap a little bit, we added a product title, a product description. And this is probably all longer you're going to want to make that description right because your sales funnel and all that's going to do the work and then a beautiful image and then we got to come down and enter the button information so i got to look over here again and steal a link because i don't want to click on the button and the button not work so the button link just go right in here um then we can say something like click here there you go for details and that's it and we're going to come up here and hit publish click on publish okay now i have hey, let's go back before i leave here so i don't want to leave products yet i'm just going to go back and show you so now i have seven products you can see my product down here that was added right so there's seven and if i go back to my page that we we're just looking at in the editor So here's the product section element. If I go in and edit this, so you see that we only have six. So if I previewed this page right now, it would look exactly like it did before. It would only show six products. So because now we have seven magically, I'm gonna change that to a seven, save changes, and let's preview that page and let's see what we have. Oh goodness, look at this. Here's our seventh product, my product. So this is this is the image that we added. This was the title for the product title, product description, and the button going to your sales page. So I just clicked on the button and hopefully it works. Then yes, it does. There you go. So that's it. So you saw how quick we added that product. And we'll just keep going down, right? So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, 
Seven. Look at that. Lucky number seven. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did today. This was fun. I love this product section element because you saw how quick it was. And look how nice the page looks, right? Very quick. Nice and neat. Everything all lined up. It's perfect. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I want to thank you for taking your time to watch, watch the video. I hope you learned a lot. And if you have any questions on the product section element, Jack Oliver's theme, eStage, WordPress, leave them down in comments below. Thank you very much and have a great day.